in an effort to not have challenging conversations in this day and age. It's like, well, you do you, like whatever's best for you, but then what if best for you is actually harmful to yourself and or others? know how bad you feel until you start feeling better than you've ever felt in your life and I've been on both ends of the spectrum and damn it's very different to now being like really focused on the mind body and soul and like really having all parts just as equal as the others. For me, I am a cancer survivor and so my entire life now is about making sure that I have a life, you know, to right. continue, so. Yeah, I was diagnosed with lymphedema at age three, which mm -hmm. affects the circulation for me through my legs and feet. So health for me has always been at the top of my mind because if I don't take care of my body, like my, I could have an amputated foot or leg. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that I play around with. All of my family almost has suffered from diabetes, uh, heart disease and stuff like that. So that's why I'm extra conscious about my health because I don't want to come down with any of those diseases. I have a regular workout routine. I've been working out consistently since I was 19 years old. I used to work out two hours a day, but then I realized wow. it's way too long. So now my workout sessions with weights are about 45 minutes, and then the rest is stretching and cardio. And I spend a lot of time stretching because it allows me to get in the zone, kind of like a meditation of sorts. It's all mental. Like I go to the gym or work out or do something kind for my body in forms of movement every day because it keeps me sane. Like if I don't go there, then I feel like something's missing and Same I get here. a little bit depressed. Absolutely. Singing all by myself back there. I was going to the gym regularly every day for like six months and then my life shifted, I lost my father, like a lot of things happened in my life that um, threw off my whole routine. And so the point when, when I was going to the gym so regularly, I felt like my brain felt happier. Like I've gotten that feeling back in other ways. I have no desire in me to change my body in any way. Mm -hmm. I like when my bucket's a little bigger. Not, I agree with you on that not, one. Not at all. See, this is where we're gonna no. get, because I will yeah. tell you, not every big person wants to be small. I am conscious about what I eat. My mom had me in Weight Watchers in junior mm -hmm. high. Yeah. Like, so my relationship with food and what I'm putting into my body has been like completely, can we curse, fucked up, like since right. the very, yeah. very I've beginning. I've had a severe sugar addiction since I was a kid. And it, like the binge yeah. eating, like it makes you feel like everything, I can't have this, this is the enemy. So yeah. when I see it you and I can it have it, I'm like, oh, I want to eat it all. Every day I wake up, I have a green smoothie. I'm always very conscious of like what I'm putting into me, which I think is, I'm just gonna say the controversial statement, I think is something that people would never think is true based off the size of my body. There's so much studies that are coming out like in terms of like your microbiome, like the microbiome that you have, like you can literally eat green smoothies and eat like everything you're supposed to be eating and not lose the weight because yeah, you have right. an imbalance in your microbiome. And like, and then people who are thin, they're just really thin, but they eat McDonald's every day. Yeah. What they don't realize is how much they're clogging their arteries sure. right. and they die of heart attacks more than quote unquote big people. I received negative feedback about my body growing up. Oh, there you go. Oh. I would have people, like some family members be like, oh, you look a little heavier than you did last year. And then other family members that were a lot more direct, like, oh, when are you gonna lose the weight? And it's been like that, I would say my whole life. And then we got to a point where I was getting compared to my little sister who's like, beautiful and thin and it's like it is so hard not to compare yourself to other people it is so hard to have a healthy relationship with yeah. food and with fitness and just with other people and it became so difficult to break out of that and to really love who i am inside sure. my stepmom would take like if i had a wrapper of chips like in my room like she would put it on top of like my, my dresser and say like I'm not the reason why you're fat, this is. Like, it, it was all very like, oh, wow. but it was super crazy psychological because I was like, we've never even discussed this before. <laughs>
I'm from Texas. We all eat soul food. So everybody was eating the same shit food. So my mom, 250 pounds, my brother, 350 pounds. But I saw that I was eating the exact same foods and I didn't even know until I got around Los Angeles health conscious people. I'm like, what? Yeah. What, you mean to tell me you don't have freaking bacon cheeseburger every single day? I didn't know. So like, when you got to LA, what triggered it in your head that said, oh, this to me is the right way for me to look I now? Wanted to, I wanted to be a model. The idea that you wanted to become a model and the only idea of model to you meant being yeah. thin or fit or whatever that be yeah, means. Yeah, all I saw, because it wasn't as popular, like plus size wasn't popular back then yeah. when I was 18 years old. Plus size is definitely not popular. No, but it's, but it's still, it still opened up way more the than it was when I was The conversation, I will say, is much more broad now. I feel yeah. like we're, yes. we're able to talk about these things a lot easier now yeah. than we were before, but what the actual way that the industry treats plus size models is totally different. Sometimes people use being body positive as an excuse not to take care of themselves. This question makes me very passionate. This is really big for me because I've been like come for from other body positive influencers, but I feel like that messages other people yes. put out are very dangerous to a young woman who thinks that it's okay. I don't care what size you are. It's not okay to sit and eat cheeseburgers and ice cream mm -hmm. all day. Like that has nothing to do with your size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's a difference between acceptance and agreement. So like you can accept your body and be in disagreement with the health situation that you have, right? Like We hear fit experts always saying, be skinny, lose weight, that's the healthy way yeah, to do like, it. So, how could you love your say, body if you're fat? At least we don't say, like, be fat because it's better for your heart, it's, it's better for your soul, it's better for your, you know what Honestly, I mean? even what you just said, like body acceptance versus body agreement, like to you, you might see one of us and be like, oh, they love their, accept their bodies, but I'm sure they don't agree with what it looks like. I mean, I, I wouldn't know unless I talked with someone, but yeah. like, Whatever the number, like, whatever, like, is coming up in terms of, like, you know, when you go to the doctor, like, at oh, the end of the day. No, let's not even But even better, that. as fit people, when you see a person who is overweight or fat or obese, however you want, whatever term you want to use, what's the first thing that happens in your head? Do you think, like, oh, like, it's great that they accept themselves, but they could use to lose weight? Or what is your first thought my, when you my, see someone? My very first thought, no, no one's, like, born that way. So you, you like, there's habits and things that you observe But you from actually can be born with that. Say, like, no, we could eat the exact same no, no. thing and, and be two different so, people. It could be how you're raised, parenting yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I didn't really know what to expect today. I didn't know how the body positive individuals were gonna come across. I didn't know if they were for a healthy lifestyle or not, but I think it's beautiful that you guys acknowledge how sure. important it is to keep yourself healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel like there are people in the body positive community that say, well, I'm just happy being fat and I'm just going to lay down and just do that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You had, I, I, fat pride, hashtag fat pride is like, was something that yeah. was going on it's for a little a while. Buzz. Just body positive in general yeah. is kind of a big buzzword that exactly. everyone just throws exactly. out. Exactly. You said years. something at some point that body positivity and like health and stuff is different. Like, yeah. is yeah. that what everybody thinks? The actual body positive community was created to give a platform to bodies that have been marginalized in our society. Right. That's what it was actually created for. Which means big bodies, big bodies disability. Super, like, super skinny F, bodies, you know, I mean, uh, anything. What, right, Absolutely different everywhere. races. And I want to scream because I'm like, actually, this is not meant for you. Mm -hmm. This is meant for bodies who, who don't have a voice. The fitness community is the reason why the body positive community exists. And I think that as a community, it's important for you guys to be a little bit more inclusive. People come up to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> It was really great talking with you guys on that. I think we really did find a middle ground. Yeah. Um, but we did, I think we all realized that it's like not, it's not this line, it really isn't a line. Pride and the ego out, let's freaking talk. I know, I love yeah. how the actual it line. It was actually on this side and this side. Hey guys, Jason from Jubilee here. We hope you enjoyed another episode of Middle Ground. Honestly, this is one of our favorite series to make and we hope you enjoy it too. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this issue and if you agree or disagree with anyone. Um, as always, make sure you click here to subscribe, click here for more videos, follow us on Instagram, and we will see you guys later.